Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host, Brian. Today we are going to be wrapping up our Doom Metal Week with the band Anathema. Now, I am familiar with them, but only one of their later albums, which I am kind of being told is not Doom Metal, uh, I'm familiar with their album A Fine Day to Exit, which is an amazing concept album, by the way, but apparently that is not Doom Metal. So, we do have some requests from people for Anathema. We have Stephen Haunch, Sergi Osan, Roland Weigert, Twin Ravens, and Algae. Algae? Algae? Uh, I apologize if I butchered that one. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to be listening to a song called Fragile Dreams off of the Hindsight album. And, uh, yeah, I guess this is going to be interesting. Assuming that this is doom metal and not anything of their later works, this is going to allow me to see a completely different side from, of Anathema that I kind of ever knew existed. I really only know them from A Fine Day to Exit, and I never got a chance to check out any of their other works, so. Yeah, let's dig into this. These guys are so good at layering. I'm going to try to focus in on this song, but it's really interesting. You can hear a lot of the little chord uh, ideas and little accidentals that they used in uh, Fine Day to Exit. It kind of feels like they have uh, a musical identity to themselves. Beautiful, real gorgeous stuff right here. That piano just laying down a foundation hasn't changed at all, but this section is so different than when we started. Countless times I trusted you I let you back in Knowing the ending. You know I should have run But I I stayed Really interesting stuff going on with the time. It might just be the way that they're accenting specific beats, but it's very disorienting. Starting to get a feel for this rhythm though. I think it is just the accents. I 
Wait, that's it? Dang, I was just getting into that. Uh, so, yeah, obviously that is not Doom Metal. Uh, assuming that um, Doom Metal is more like what we listened to with... Why am I already blanking out on that name? I don't know. The one just before this one. <laughs> um... Dang, that's, uh, that's a little disappointing that I can't remember that. Um, but yeah, so this is obviously more of like a post-rock sort of doom rock. Oh, Candlemas. Yeah, this is more like a, a doom rock, post-rock kind of thing. It, um, it's good. It is really good. It's got some uh, a little bit of prog element to it. Lots of layering. Lots of non-rock typical instruments. We had a harp in there, I think. The piano. I mean, all sorts of, um, you know, non-traditional rock instruments. Um, we had a little bit of time weirdness. Like I said, I think it was a standard time signature, just with some interesting accents. But I uh, I ended up finding the groove on that. Um, but yeah, so not doom metal, even though Anathema has been a doom metal band, I'm going to assume prior to this. Um, but yes, I do. I, I love this song. Everything in this song is what I love about Anathema's uh, A Fine Day to Exit. And this song just kind of solidifies the fact that I screwed up by not checking out more of their works that is something i need to rectify immediately but yeah let's 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 dig into this so the things that i really love about anathema is their ability to layer their ability to take their time and evolve a concept without without wasting time i i don't i don't want to throw shade on other bands who do this and I didn't enjoy the way they did it but Anathema has a way to keep the attention of the listener while they evolve an idea. You can see it in the beginning, uh, the intro to it all, you can also see it closer to the end. Um, I guess going into the outro uh, there's just so many layers and they take the time to build each one up but they don't stay in those ideas um, they don't basically outstay their welcome there. They stick in, they stick with the ideas as long as they need to, and then they leave. Uh, you know, they they kind of show you that this is this is what we're going for. Let's show you each layer. After we got all seven or eight layers on, we're moving on. We're not going to stick around. You've seen how we built it. Now listen to what we're doing with it. Uh, it's it's kind of straight to the point. Kind of I guess people would call it prog light, where it's has the elements of prog but not the dedication 
or or anything like that of Prague. Um, it's it's accessible Prague, I guess you could call it, uh, and that's not a bad thing. Accessibility is not bad. But that's a tangent for another day, though. Um, but yeah, I also love the way that they layer things. It's not just that they layer things, because lots of bands can layer elements of a song. They can layer multiple instruments, but it always it doesn't always come out great. And Anathema just has this, I don't know, like innate feeling for good layering. The way that different instruments complement each other on different beats, the way that they can fill in the gaps of other people's melodic lines, it's just so well executed and there's there's very rarely any time when I'm like okay that one that didn't line up well you know that bar needed some tweaking I don't ever feel that way their layering is just done so well and it, it's it's either just this innate knowledge of how to, different instruments and melodic ideas kind of interweave with each other or it is just ridiculous time intensive grinding you know, pl you know, writing something down or putting it into a DAW or, you know, um, sheet music program or whatever, you know, writing this music out, listening to it, writing something else on top of that, listening to it, tweaking it, just this trial and error thing. I don't know if it's just like this innate genius or if it's a trial and error process, but the end result is always fantastic. Um, and then it's just the singing. I think whoever the singer is... I don't know if they've had different singers through the years, but this is definitely the singer from uh, A Fine Day to Exit. He has this um, smoothness to his voice that complements the serenity in the music. Even when you have harsher songs or songs with darker themes, the music still has this bit of upliftingness to it even though the themes might be dark or doomy or brooding or anything like that um, there's still a little bit of gleam of hope in them and his voice kind of has that duality to it and I really enjoy that I mean it's just it's good stuff uh, so yeah I I love this song everything about it is just good other than the fact it's short man I I was it felt like the beginning of something you know, we had that huge build-up at the end, and I was really expecting to go into the doom metal part. <laughs> um, you know, I, I kind of figured that this was requested uh, recently in response... I, I thought it was in response to the fact that we haven't listened to true doom metal. And uh, I, I must have misread the context of the reply, or maybe I misread the date. I mean, some of these requests were from months ago, um, and it could have just been, you know, a random request for anathema. So... Uh, that, that's just kind of something that could have happened, I guess. But, uh, you know, I thought this was going to be more of a doom metal thing, and I was waiting for that big, you know, the big guitar uh, chord hit with the distortion going into more of a metal part. And that's really what I thought we were building up to there, and then it just fades out in silence. And, well, I gotta say, my expectations were in the wrong place, but... Dang, if that wasn't a letdown. <laughs> uh, you know, it won't be a letdown the next time I listen to it, you know, knowing full well what the song is and what it's doing. But, uh, yeah, kind of having that expectation, thinking that that's what this was going to be. I was I was a little let down on that. And it's just, I enjoy this song. I wish it was longer. You know, there was so much more they could have done with it. And maybe that's part of their genius, is that they know to let you go when you're wanting more uh, I think I think more everything more as every every art aspect can do with that I think I think we have a lot of issues with uh, more and bigger and and not really understanding how to how to stop when when you're good, you know, not not overstaying your welcome. I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling at this point. I, I I have all these. I should really do these scripted content stuff and just kind of uh, focus in on these ideas. Uh, but yeah, so that so yeah, that's uh, Anathema. The song is Fragile Dreams. I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. Um, I pretty much addressed that this wasn't doom metal. This is more of like a post rock, doom rock kind of thing. Uh, prog light. Uh, I don't really think we need a thousand comments telling me once again that this is not doom metal and 
it doesn't fit in the week. I'm sorry, that's what happened. I I picked an anathema song. <laughs> it didn't fit. Uh, that's kind of a, a problem with bands evolving. I You don't really see it so much in pop. Um, country, hip-hop. I mean, you see a little bit of it in country and hip-hop. Well, they'll, they'll kind of evolve into a different thing. Because pop and, and hip-hop and country all kind of... Uh, not pop. Country and hip-hop kind of uh, bleed out into other things. Like hip-hop can be like R&B. Um, and auto-tune has kind of allowed more singing into hip-hop. Uh, country has moved towards a real pop edge lately. Uh, but for the most part, the fundamentals underneath are very similar. But when it comes to rock, there are a lot of genres of rock. And I'm, I know there's a lot of genres in country and hip-hop too. Uh, I'm not trying to say there aren't. I'm just not as well as, as knowledgeable about them. I don't know about the little nuances. But anyways, in rock though, um, bands can shift wildly in different directions. Uh, just look at Anathema or any of these doom metal bands. Or even look at what folk metal and all of its subgenres have become. Um, so it's kind of difficult to pick a band for a genre and kind of zero in on a specific song with no knowledge. I think that's that's the big hurdle for me is that I don't have any knowledge coming into this stuff, so I can't hand pick perfect examples. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure out ways because this is two weeks in a row that we've kind of run into these problems. Um, I'm gonna try to find a better way to handle this. I mean, when I have large genres, like if I'm just gonna say uh, speed metal, that's pretty much anything fast. I don't think that's gonna get messed up. I don't think we're gonna confuse. Uh, if I if I did a speed metal week, I don't think we're gonna have ballads in there. Um, but yeah, there there might be a better way for me to kind of vet uh, songs. Maybe I'll have to figure out a way to do that so that we don't have something like this and last week's folk metal um, situations like that again. Anyways, yeah, I'm rambling now. That is Anathema. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I love this band. At least their newer stuff. Um, maybe I'll check out some older stuff in the future sometime and see what that's all about. Um, but yeah, this is where you come in. Drop it down in the comments whether you enjoyed it, whether you didn't. If there was a better song that I should have done. I know there was a couple requests for all three parts of the last song or the lost song. Um, something like that. Uh, I would not mind checking that out in the future but maybe if there's any doom metal older anathema stuff that i should check out lay it down in the comments uh yeah and while you're down there make sure you like subscribe ring the bell if you'd like you can check out my patreon or my twitter links are down in the description and until next time you guys stay safe out there and have a fantastic morning evening or afternoon whenever you choose to watch my videos